I move the governing board approve to expel the reference student. Second. The motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Uh, the next subject would be the designation of voting delegate and alternate to the Arizona School Boards Association annual meeting. Um, I talked to Hilda and Robin. I and Matt are going to the ASBA this year, so. Huh? You are? Wow, I, I am. I'm yeah. surprised. <laughs> yeah. So. Sorry, <laughs> so, oh, oh, I figured we'd figure out who was going first. <laughs> that, that would be good. Um, I know Rob is always interested also, so does anyone have any preferences? No. <laughs> anyone? Um, it doesn't matter to me which of us. Um, I don't me either, but I'll do it too. You know, I have no burning desire, but I don't dislike it at all. I, I think I'll, I'll be the alternate. Okay. Since she's not here, she's the delegate because I've had a teacher for being sick. Yes. I move, Volunteer. I move the governing board designate Robin Kravitsky Ferguson as the Creighton School District Governing Board's <laughs> voting delegate and or uh, Donna Young as alternate and delegate its designee to represent the majority action of the board regarding such ASBA proposals which are in alignment with the district's vision, mission, and or goals. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. The legislative political report. I actually have nothing. <laughs> oh, that's what thing. I really don't know a lot about redistricting other than that um, what you covered at the last meeting that the chair was um, removed and that the court case is that they will uh, they'll be ruling on that at some point is it the seventeenth? It might be this week. It was November seventeenth. That's two days. And but that in the meantime she was not reinstated pending that, so I think it's an ongoing case. I haven't seen any new maps. Come out. Well, and, and in the meanwhile, the uh, court, the appellate court, is accepting or was accepting applications for commissioners, um, and the deadline was today. So they had 17 applications, so they're oh, moving. Okay. It's still moving forward without, and I guess the idea is to appoint a new. The person has to be not registered with either political party within the last three years, I think. They can't have held elective office within a certain period of time, so I guess that precludes all of us. That sounds <laughs> I can't go. I know. Um, so I wanted to make a better comment on a legislative and political report. Just didn't have a chance to respond when uh, Dr. Boyle presented her superintendent's report, but being that the uh, meeting was at the legislature. I thought this was an appropriate time to make comments. Um, this was a presentation of audit findings, and so the school districts on the spot were, and they were there to, sh you know, the auditor general was sharing where they had wasted money. Um, so the point I wanted to the school district wasted money or the auditor general wasted well, money? <laughs> it's how they presented their report. Um, That's how they presented yeah. it? Where so they could have uh, spent this money in the classroom. Yeah, they presented it as a waste. So, nevertheless, the point that I wanted to make was I was very impressed with the leadership that Dr. Boyle presented um, at the committee meeting. There were a range of superintendents with a range of uh, responses and skills, and I was very proud to be represented by Dr. Boyle there. Um, in fact, uh, the chairman of the committee, Rich Crandall, had uh, acknowledged her for being very proactive um, with implementing, uh, I guess, making adjustments. Um, and it was what, very well received. So I wanted to acknowledge her here for such a good show. Thank you. Are there any other 
the video of that will probably be on the legislature's website at some point. So yeah. I'm hoping to get some time to watch that. It's pretty dry. Well, sometime when I can get false. Joking. We need to be good luck. I mean, and, and for, for what it's worth, the uh, members of the committee that I thought were very thoughtful and reflective and kind of understood the challenges <laughs> that school boards face um, with the type of reporting that the Auditor General is looking for. Uh, those Representatives Meyer and Carter and Senator Crandall, they asked very good, thoughtful questions. Um, but I think in general they had some concerns with the way that they do these uh, audits and what they're looking for. Um, of course the response was that it's not something Arizona can control. These are federal definitions um, of how money is labeled. But nevertheless, I wanted to share that I thought those um, legislators in particular were very good. Uh, next agenda item is future agenda items. So I'd like to add um, an item when it's convenient for the uh, administrative team. I'd like to get a presentation from Mackin on the Playworks partnership. I've heard some really great and positive things and love to hear more about that and find out if that's something we'd like to invest in and expand or not. I move the governing board adjourn. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. And I'm adjourned.